welcome back to another video and in this one I've got another iPhone 4. Um, iPhone 4 is fully updated on iOS 7 and basically this one hasn't been used in years and we don't know the passcode for it. So yep, fully functional with the torch flashlight and everything. Camera works. So let's get to testing it out. So first of all I'm just going to do just a drop test. Randomly falls out my hand. It's okay. Again. Couple more of those. Sounds okay. So now we'll do it from a wee bit higher. Let's do it from just sitting up here. This is, I don't know, however tall you think that is. So just gets knocked off the edge. It's good. And again, let's put the screen back on. One more time. So, so far, there's no damage at all that I can see. Phone's looking great. Um, it's got a wee scratch there, but that's all there is so far. Let's go for a face down. Of course it's fine. So, now try it from a wee bit higher. In fact, actually, Let's try something. Stick it up on top of the door here and close the door. Okay. So it's chipped at the side there. But the phone still works. Try that again. Do it that way. Oh, it's dirty. Let's clean that off. Right, so it's got scratches and scrapes on it. It's still good though. So it turn on? Yeah, it turns on. Yeah, it's still very really nice and touch. Let's put it onto video for a smoother picture. Okay, so what we've learned from this one is that it seems to be really tough. So we'll just do a flat down drop from above head height. There you go. That's the damage we want. Flip the camera, I oh, can still see. The back's good, but you can hear the front making weird noises now. Oh. Let's try the back and drop again. Drop it off from here. There's more cracks in the front and the back. So that's the phone. Finish the drop test anyway. Still looks like it's working, but it's not in such a good shape anymore. Camera still works. That's good. But um, yeah, we'll need to see what else we can do to it since it's failed the drop test now. Although it did take quite a bit. Right, so I was just testing out how the phone works still. We still have the speaker. Um, home button still works. Power button still works. Mute switch, although it thinks it's got headphones in because it was in the water earlier. Um, volume buttons. They're not doing anything, but I don't know what's up with that. I think you need to have music playing. Let's see. 
yeah. Well, it's coming through the headphones, so the speaker does work. Flashlight, yep, that works. Camera, we've already tested. Back and front. So no problems there. So the phone is still fully functional, even though the camera at the front looks like it might be having some issues seeing, but it isn't. And apart from the glass, the frame of the phone is still holding up quite well. So now um, I think I'm going to try and see what I can do to break the back camera. So I've done this before with a 4S, tried to smash the back camera, but that broke the front of the phone. But it was already damaged on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and see what um, the iPhone 4 makes of it, because this isn't a 4S. Not bad. Right, so that's still working at the back. How's the front doing? Still turns on. Can we see at the back? We can. <laughs> Look at the state of it. Let's turn the flashlight back on. This tree is in a uh, pathetic attempt to try and catch some of the glass. That is ridiculous. How's that still working? We're cracking the plastic container. Please help me, the front's getting worse, but the back is still working. Alright, so there's the back. So that still works. Um, the front of the phone, the display seems to have stopped working, but it's still responding to touch. So, this can let us know how the phone's still working. Oh, that's a shame. These phones aren't. Well, they're strong, but like they're not very strong. So, like from the back, I've managed to punch my way through to the front and destroy that. Let's see if we can gently, percussively shock it back into life. That back flash light is still working. I just want to quickly see if I can... Whoops. Well, there goes the plastic container. Ah, there we go. The front's still on. Let's see what else we can do to the back of the phone. That. The front still works. Right, I'm gonna need to go and clean up a wee bit before I can continue on with this one. So as I'm cleaning the glass up off the phone a wee bit, this starts happening. So it's vibrating. And it's obviously playing an alarm tone of some sort. Um, <laughs> I don't know how that's came on. But anyway, there you go. 
but it's still doing that. I might turn the torch off. I don't know how to. I don't know if the torch is on or not. But there's the camera anyway. That's a better inspection of the glass. Sorry I've not got any footage of this last bit, but what I've been doing is I've been hitting this side of the phone with a hammer and I've basically pushed the metal in underneath the glass now. So, oh, let's try it one more time. Missed it there. I just, I just whacked the screen.